Alright guys, so here is the figure, the brand new Shin Ultraman dying action figure. So I've been waiting for this for months and months and months. I actually own the Evangelion Unit 1 dying action figure, so when they announced that they were doing a Shin Ultraman version, um, I was so excited because I love this figure. These things are massive. They have metal in them, so they almost feel like Chogokin figures. They're super weighty, super awesome. They feel great in the hand. And I was stoked to finally see Shin Ultraman in stores this week. And I picked him up today after work, and I had to share him with you guys. Also, this figure is amazing as well. We'll talk about him another time. Sorry, I meant her. All right. So let's address the... All right, so let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, the eyes do light up. They have LEDs inside and they look super, super cool. I actually shot some footage outside in the dark during a lightning storm today so that you can get the full effect of how amazing these look in the dark. He stands at about 42 centimeters tall. Ow! This is how tall that is in inches. And if I compare him to the Bandai Movie Monsters figure, he looks like a giant. And here he is next to the Mega Movie Monsters figure. Still a giant. Now the LED is actually housed inside of his head here, obviously. Uh, and you can turn it on and off by popping off the back of his head. And there is a little switch right there that you can turn it off. But uh, we're going to leave it on for this review. And it pops right back into place. Uh, let's talk real quick about his articulation. His head is on a ball joint and it can move all sorts of ways. Just don't move it too far back because this will pop off right here. Um, but it's nice because you can have his head looking like, oh gosh, well, I guess you can't go that far. Note to self, I guess you can go about that far without it completely falling off. His neck really won't go back any further than that, but he can look all the way down almost at a 90 degree angle, almost. The base of the neck can move quite a bit this way and that way. I'm not familiar with all the names of different joints, but I do know that these joints right here are called uh, butterfly joints and they kind of extend out from the shoulder. And so you can kind of push them in, pull them out. And there's a ball joint inside here. You can get all sorts of ranges of motion here. Got that armpit ball, same thing on this arm, obviously. And you've got the elbow. The elbow joint is a bit uh, unattractive looking. I wish they would have covered that up with some kind of like, I don't know, rubber flap or something. There's, There's gotta be a way to cover that up. Um, although when it is bent or viewed from a different angle, it is not as bad, but still, um, that's just one little nitpick that I have. Uh, but you know, it is a giant toy, so anything that would, you know, maybe not look so bad on a smaller toy really stands out on this one. I'm not bothered by it. Elbows move really nicely. You got the, it's like double jointed here. And then at the wrist, we have uh, a ball joint and a swivel thing, and uh, you know, does, you know, you can do just things with it, just move it around in twisties yeah wrist stuff yeah, boy. and he does come with uh various hands which i will show you in just a moment let's check out that ab crunch and the pelvic thrust Whoa. so yeah he's uh you know he's got a lot of movement here and here he's also got um multiple layers of joints in his thighs which uh i don't know these look like they could be uh, fragile possibly inside, I'm not sure. Like the, um, these look more sturdy than these do. I don't know, it just looks like there's a lot going on down there that if you twist it a little bit too hard one way, you could possibly damage it. You know, I, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't damaged it yet. I just wanna be very careful with this because let me tell you, these ain't cheap. So yeah, his legs, the things that you would expect to be able to do with it, you can do with it. So there's his ultra butt. Uh, if you're gonna be doing some like, you know, viewing from the, from between his legs from down below, it's uh, it's not the uh, most pleasant sight. Rather odd looking. Uh, maybe that's another thing they could have maybe, you know, you know, they could have done something there. From the back here, it looks completely fine. Knees next, it's got the uh, double bendy thingy, just like the elbows. Also, this is not a crack. This is where the seam of the plastic is. When I initially saw this, I thought I'd cracked it, but that's actually 
how it is made. Uh, I guess that's how it's you know glued together right there because you've got the same crack on this side and on both sides. So yeah, and we have ankle joints. They do the twisties, they do the bendies, they do the swivelies, and you got the toesies. Bloop, bloop. So, you know, you can do all sorts of crazy poses with this guy. You know, you can do it like this. You can do a flight kick like Liu Kang. You can do a pouncing puma. You can do the Trinity Matrix kick. You can do the Karate Kid Eagle Kick. That's the same kick, Jeremy. I know. Now let's take a look at those different hands you can swap out, although I really like these hands. Let's pop off a hand. We've got uh, this fist right here, which, uh, you know what, I'm not gonna pop that on. I guess I, I guess I should. His, or at least I'll pretend like I'm popping it on. You can do his... Uh... That's, a, that's a bad sound effect. Here's the uh, the type of hands that he was packed with in the package, just the open hands like he has in like his other figures. Uh, so, you know, it's not that exciting. But the hands that everyone's gonna wanna use other than these open judo hands are going to be these bad boys right here. We just uh, pop it on. Go! And we can get him into a swatch pose. Swatch! Isn't that what Ultraman says? Swatch! Swatch! You doing tonight? But yeah, guys, this thing is so freaking cool. This has got to be one of the coolest toys I've ever purchased, hands down. It's just such an awesome action figure, and I think you will really get your money's worth out of it. But like I said, this is not a cheap toy. If you think SH figure arts are expensive, you can imagine how much one that's almost two feet tall would cost. Especially with LED eyes. And while he does stand okay on his own, he's really heavy and you really don't want to risk having him fall over and then, you know, having the pegs that connect this thing like snapping or something. So it does come with this awesome heavy duty stand, which the Dynaction Evangelion unit also came with. It can adjust to the figure's pose so you can make it taller, you can make it shorter. It's up to you. So yeah, that's what that looks like. And one more time, let's see him with the Dynaction Evangelion Unit 1. I really want to make a uh, diorama of them, like just battling over top of a cityscape. I filmed this really fast after I got home from work just because I was super excited to have this thing and I wanted to show you guys. I realized there were no reviews online. I hope this helped you decide whether or not you want to purchase it. I highly recommend it. I think you should definitely purchase it if you've got the money for it. This is the type of thing that could skyrocket in value or, you know, if you wait a couple months, it might actually drop and you might be able to get it on sale. I'm not entirely sure. Don't risk it for a biscuit. Catch you next time.